it. And now, it's all about laksa. Watch till the end to see some of the wackiest laksa you'll ever find. Ah, laksa. It's one of my favorite things in the world. It's like a flavor bomb in a bowl, which I believe should come with a warning label. And let's be real, Malaysia knows what's up when it comes to laksa. We're fiercely proud of our laksa heritage. We've got more variety than a box of crayons, with each state having their own unique version of the dish. My name's Shazen Lian, and I've been invited to the land down under to be one of the judges for the yearly Darwin International Laksa Festival and to discover some of the most mind-blowing laksas. Here we are on day three, and I'm eager to learn more about their stories, their craft of laksa making, and their diverse cultures that have influenced Darwin's favorite dish. From past Golden Bowl winners to People's Choice Award recipients, we're diving head first into the world of laksa making, and we're not leaving until we've tasted every last drop. Speaking of laksas and awards, back in episode one, we had the pleasure of sitting down with the 2019 and 2020 Golden Bowl and People's Choice Award winner, Jason from Chalk's Place, located in Darwin Galleria. During our short meeting, he served us an outrageously delicious laksa dish. And if that wasn't enough, he brought out his famous laksa-inspired spring rolls and pies. I mean, it's like a laksa party in your mouth. But as we loosen our belts a notch or two, and thought that that was one that's hard to beat, our next food location might just prove us wrong and maybe give Jason a run for his money. We kicked off our day by visiting Parap Market, a small but vibrant market with heaps of local arts, craft music and of course, food. We've got everything from smoky barbecued meats to the heavenly scent of freshly baked pastries that just lingers in the air. The guy's absolutely hilarious, right? It's like Vietnamese style but it's Darwin style now because of how thick and fat this is. I've never seen a pork on stick so fat. It's almost so big I'm intimidated to eat. But he's been doing this 29 years, so this guy must know his stuff. But the real reason why we're here is to track down one of the biggest buzz around the city and her famous laksa. Ask around the locals on where you can try out the best laksa in Darwin, and you'll definitely hear Mary's name pop up in every single one of them. So we're going to be tasting one of the people's favorite laksas. I've heard so much about Mary's laksa, and uh, so we're here to taste it. Hi, Mary. Hello. How, How are, are you? you? Good. How are you? Nice, nice to, to meet you. Too. So I hear you're the people's choice. Absolutely. For laksa. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I won it in 2020. 2020. 2020. Yeah. Nice. So I want to taste your laksa. I've yeah. So much about it. Yeah. And, uh, and I, I have. Come in? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Come yeah. Come in. Yeah. Come <laughs> in. Come. 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 Hi guys. He's from Malaysia, Auntie Lin. I'm from Malaysia, yes. And this is my auntie. Yes. Yeah. He's a... Yes, Kuala Lumpur, exactly. Kabar baik. Terima kasih. Nice. Yeah. Would you like to try one? Yes, definitely. Sure, sure. All right. The ingredient like onion, coriander, chili. Now, chili. this is very hot chili. Oh, uh, I love hot. So hot? I love spicy food. Okay. So. okay. Thanks, Mary. Okay. Enjoy. Truly a memorable dish with lots of Asian spicy flavors packed into a bowl. Hers was a different variation of laksa in comparison to Jason's. It's lighter in consistency, but still packed to punch. It's almost like an intermarriage between a pho and a laksa. Her broth was running deep with umami and perfumed with spices. And not to mention the chili that goes with it definitely had a kicker. And this is quite proper street food laksa like back home as well. You're literally sitting on a plastic table, plastic chairs, out in the market. It's hot. Very Malaysian. <laughs> Though I might not have gotten the secret to her laksa, but I think I might have found myself a new godmother. Mary is such a sweet, sweet motherly figure. I think I just found my mother away from home. Next up, we're heading to a fantastic little spot in the heart of Darwin, a local favorite cafe for over a decade, and for good reason. Alberto's on Edmund Street. And guess what we're gonna have? Laksa. Alberto's Cafe is known for using fresh, high-quality ingredients that serves one of the city's best toasties and, of course, coffee. Whether you're in a mood for a hearty breakfast, a light lunch, or just a decadent dessert, there's something on the menu to satisfy every craving. One of the standout dishes in Alberto's Cafe is their laksa, 
which has become a favorite among locals and visitors alike. Now, Alberto's Laksa was more of a Nyonya Laksa variation, where its fragrant broth is not perfumed with spices, but instead with herbs. Enriched with coconut milk, topped with loads of fresh vegetables to cut through the richness and his generosity with his meats truly makes it a satisfying bowl of laksa. I'm a happy puppy. So good. And of course, we had to give the famous toasties a try. Mm. Ham cheese tomatoes, one of my favorite sandwiches. I look at the filling inside. So generous with the ham. We've got cheese just oozing out everywhere. The laksa in Alberto's Cafe is a must try, especially if you're a meat lover like myself. So naturally, one of our top favorites so far. So good. So wonderful. The laksa is the best I've had so far. Oh, really thank nice. You. Really, really very nice. Thank you so much. Oh boy, we've been stuffing our faces with so much of food that our bellies are ready to explode. But we're not stopping just yet. We need to get deeper into Darwin's Laksa Trail before it's my turn to whip up my own version of this amazing dish. So, let's go! Eva's Botanical Garden Cafe is a hidden gem and the location is a huge part of what makes it so special. The cafe is surrounded by the beautiful and serene botanic gardens, offering a tranquil escape from the hustle and bustle of the city. It's a perfect spot to just come and enjoy a cup of coffee or a hot meal while soaking up the natural beauty of Darwin. But as we are on a mission, so we're here to try one of their Laksa-inspired specials, the Laksanya. Yes. You heard that right. Laksa lasagna. And well, I cook with laksa, mix with beef, pork, uh, vegetable, uh, include celery, onion, and carrot, yeah. Yeah. with ham and laksa sauce. And after that, I uh, cook on the tray with lasagna. Pasta sheets, coconut bechamel, slow cooked beef and pork ragu in laksa paste, cheese, fresh coriander, and crispy fried garlic. It's delightful and unique. I mean, what kind of crazy person would combine lasagna and laksa? But I have to say, it works like a charm. Again, cray cray, but yep, delicious. Maybe you win. Chuck mm. <laughs> in. So if you're here in Eva's Botanical Garden Cafe, give it a shot, will you? You might just like it. Our final laksa run of the day. Of course, we had to visit our friendly neighbors from Singapore, Copy Stop. We were greeted with the friendly faces of the Activate Darwin team who are eager for us to try the Kopi Stop homemade laksa. Well, so are we. This cute cafe located at Harriet Place is a piece of gem in the heart of Darwin. You can't miss it. Trust us, it's brighter than your future. And let's not forget about the Kopi in the name, which means coffee, duh. Clearly, these folks know what they're doing. NT News even once gave them the stamp of approval for the best coffee in town. We also had the pleasure of meeting Jules, the owner of Copy Stop. She told us the story of how she took over an existing cafe in 2015 and in 2016 remodeled the space and introduced Copy Stop to Darwin. And their laksa surely did not disappoint. Every single component was homemade, from the laksa paste and sambal to the juicy pork and prawn wontons. It's like a symphony of flavors in your mouth. Although the toppings such as broccoli and mushrooms may have been adapted to suit the Australian palate, I found it intriguing as I've never had laksas with these vegetables before. But all in all, Kopi Stop's laksa was absolutely delicious. We couldn't have asked for a better way to end our laksa run for the day. All right, folks, enough of the eating for now. It's crunch time. As we inch closer to the festival day, I've been invited by Casuarina Square to do a cooking demonstration of a dish I probably have had way too much. Yes, laksa. Ugh. So I've decided to whoop up something special, a unique twist of Darwin's favorite, fried laksa. But before we get to the good stuff, we've got some serious prep work to do. Lucky for me, I've got one of the best crews in town to help me out. This is head chef Maddie and sous chef Mattia. They've agreed to assist me in prepping my laksa. Also, a huge shout out to Adina Vibe Hotel for the awesome room, one of the major sponsors of this year's Darwin International Laksa Festival. We'll cover that in our next episode, but for now, let's get cooking. Uh, do you serve laksa here? No, we don't. No? No. So they said that... Um, Maybe after this? 
uh, after this year, you might. You might? might put your name on into it as well, yeah. <laughs> we will be making the laksa paste. Yep. And we will be making the laksa stock. Alright. Chicken stock. Blend it together, then we pass then it through a sieve. Yeah, for a sieve. Yeah. Then the stock is done. Any different? Thanks, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Now that the prep work is done, it's time to introduce this bad boy to the good people at Darwin. Please join me welcome, Chef Chosen Lian. Hello. Whoa. Hello, beautiful people of Darwin City. So today I will be doing for you a very special laksa, which it's fried laksa. Fried laksa, that sounds yes. interesting. Fried laksa. In case you're wondering, the fried laksa is a unique and delicious twist on the traditional laksa. Instead of serving the rice noodle in a soup format, the noodles is stir-fried in a wok with the spicy and flavorful laksa paste and usually topped with fresh herbs such as cilantro, ginger flour and laksa leaves. Eggs are usually included as well and a wedge of lime on the side for the extra kick. Fried laksa, simple, done. So if you're a laksa lover and happen to see one, it's a no-brainer for you to go try. And lastly, a big shout out to Kajarina Square for having me and to all the laksa lovers who came out to say hello. Your support means the world to me. Thank you. Thank you very, very much for your time. I appreciate it. And I'll see you at the Laksa Festival happening this Sunday. This Sunday. 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. Come check it out. Take care, guys. Adios. What a day it has been. And to cap it off, the Activate Darwin team invited us along with some of the contestants from the Laksa Festival competition to WARF 1 for a commemoration dinner to officiate the Darwin International Laksa Festival 2022. The food was delicious as ever. I mean, I've never had so many dishes with Laksa elements present, from live oysters with Laksa Granita to a famous Laksa-inspired ice cream, which was surprisingly good. I mean, I was mind blown by the sheer creature Activity on how they spun laksa into so many different things. First of all, thank you, Activate uh, Darwin, for inviting me over. I'm very, very honored to be here uh, to showcase laksa from Malaysia and also to be one of the guest judge. Um, for me, I think what makes a great laksa is a combination of things. You know, you've got the broth, you've got uh, the condiments in it, but also, I guess, from Malaysia, what makes a good laksa is the amount of herbs that we get to use in laksa. So with every bite, you get different herbs and every every herb has its own characteristics and they all work together in this whole thing called laksa. But what made the evening truly special was the wonderful company we had the pleasure of keeping. Meeting new and familiar faces who are passionate about laksa and its impact on the community was truly an honour. I feel incredibly fortunate to have been a part of it and look forward to seeing how the festival will continue to grow and bring people together in celebrating this beloved dish. In the next episode, I get to sit and eat and eat, and eat some more. And judge the top voted laksas in the city to help crown the winner of the Darwin International Laksa Festival 2022.